Chosen ones, do you feel stuck and see no way out? The trials you're going through are part of God's grand plan. Through patience and faith, you will find the path to breakthrough and blessings. The world is filled with myths about what it means to be chosen and to go through trials. Many believe that hardships and obstacles in life are punishments for some mistakes or sins. However, this misconception stems from a misunderstanding of the divine plan. God uses trials not to punish, but to foster your growth and prepare you for great achievements. Trials are like a spiritual gymnasium that strengthens your faith and character. They enable you to develop qualities such as patience, humility, and resilience. Your ability to overcome difficulties is a testament to your readiness for the higher purposes that God has planned for you. One of the primary myths is the belief that suffering indicates God's anger or displeasure. In reality, suffering often signifies that God sees potential in you for something greater. Trials are a way to purify your soul and remove anything that hinders your spiritual development. Another common myth is the thought that the chosen ones must lead flawless lives without difficulties. But in reality, even the greatest spiritual leaders have gone through severe trials. Their path to holiness and wisdom was paved with challenges that helped them become who they are. God sees beyond our current sufferings. He uses them to prepare us for our divine calling. Each of us goes through our own unique trials, which are crucial and essential for our spiritual journey. Instead of viewing them as punishment, we should embrace them as part of our growth and preparation for the great deeds that God has in store for us. By understanding the true meaning of trials, you can free yourself from fear and disappointment. Instead, you will see them as opportunities for growth and self-improvement. Belief that God is always with you and guiding you will help you overcome any difficulties and lead you to your breakthrough and blessings. To grasp the greatness of God's plan and understand how he prepares you for a breakthrough, it is crucial to draw from various sources of information. The wisdom accumulated over centuries helps us comprehend the depth and meaning of our spiritual paths. In this section, we will turn to biblical texts, historical examples and contemporary testimonies to gain a comprehensive understanding of the process of spiritual preparation. Let us start with the Bible, an inexhaustible source of knowledge and inspiration. Remember Job, whose trials and sufferings were not a punishment, but a test of faith. His story shows that through fidelity and resilience, great blessings can be attained. Joseph, sold into slavery by his own brothers, also endured many trials before becoming a great ruler. His story teaches us patience and trust in God's plan, even when all seems lost. Moving on to historical examples, let's recall Mother Teresa, who dedicated her life to serving the poor and sick. Her path was filled with hardships and doubts, but her faith and devotion to God led her to become a symbol of compassion and mercy. We should also mention Martin Luther King Jr., whose struggle for human rights was accompanied by numerous trials. His example demonstrates how steadfastness and faith can lead to global changes. Contemporary testimonies also play a crucial role in our understanding. Stories of people who have gone through tough times and emerged with strengthened faith inspire us and show that God's power is at work even today. These testimonies prove that trials and difficulties are not punishments, but opportunities for spiritual growth and preparation for great deeds. By combining these sources, we gain a holistic understanding of how God prepares us for a breakthrough. They help us see that every hardship is a step towards our spiritual perfection. Understanding and embracing this process, we can draw strength and inspiration for our journey. Not all methods of preparing for a spiritual breakthrough are equally effective. There are two particularly common but dangerous approaches that can lead to disappointment and spiritual decline. Let us explore them to understand why they do not work and how to avoid these pitfalls. The first method is avoiding difficulties. Imagine a flower growing in perfect conditions without wind or rain. This flower may look beautiful, but at the first gust of wind, it will break because it never had the chance to strengthen its roots and stem. Similarly, when we try to avoid life's trials, we deprive ourselves of the opportunity to strengthen our faith and character. God sends us trials not to punish us, but to make us stronger and more resilient so that our faith can withstand any storm. The second approach is attempting to solve all problems on your own without relying on God's help. In this case, 
We are like a traveler crossing a desert without water, hoping that sheer willpower will lead to an oasis. But without the life-giving water, the traveler will inevitably weaken and fall. God's help and wisdom are the living water that sustains us on our spiritual journeys. Only by relying on Him can we endure the most challenging periods of our lives, maintaining faith and inner peace. These two approaches, avoiding difficulties and self-reliance, are not only ineffective, but also dangerous for our spiritual growth. When we avoid difficulties, we reject God's lessons that strengthen our souls. And when we rely solely on our own strength, we miss out on God's support, which is essential for overcoming life's trials. A question for you. Are there examples from your life that illustrate how these methods can fail? Understanding their shortcomings will help you avoid these traps and choose the path leading to true spiritual breakthrough and blessing. In our lives, trials are inevitable and it is crucial to understand that they are part of God's plan. Often, on our path to spiritual breakthrough, we encounter demonic spirits that try to hinder our growth and development. These dark forces can manifest in various forms, through doubts, fears, negative thoughts, or even through other people. It is essential to recognize their influence and know how to combat them. Fighting demonic spirits requires spiritual vigilance and strength. Prayer and fasting are powerful tools that help us deal with these attacks. Prayer strengthens our connection with God, filling us with His grace and wisdom. When we pray, we invoke God's power and protection, which helps us overcome any obstacles. Fasting, on the other hand, purifies our body and spirit, helping us focus on the divine. By renouncing worldly pleasures and focusing on the spiritual, we become more sensitive to God's guidance and protection. Fasting helps us gain the inner strength and resilience needed to fight demonic forces. Imagine a warrior clad in spiritual armor. This armor is your faith, prayer, and fasting. They protect you from the enemy's attacks and give you the strength to advance. Without them, you are vulnerable and weak in the face of darkness. But with them, you are invincible, as God himself stands behind you. Dealing with demonic spirits is also aided by knowledge and understanding of God's word. The Bible is our spiritual sword, which helps us expose lies and temptations. By studying scripture, we find answers to our questions and strengthen our faith. God's word fills us with light and truth, dispelling darkness and fear. It is essential to remember that you are not alone in your struggle. God is always near, ready to support and protect you. He gives us all the necessary tools for victory, prayer, fasting, and the word. Use them and no demonic spirits will be able to hinder your spiritual breakthrough. In each of our lives, there are moments when God decides to remove certain people from our surroundings. This can be painful and confusing, but it is crucial to understand that such removal always has a profound meaning and is part of his divine plan. In this section, we will explore why it is so important to let go of those who do not help us achieve our goals and why this is necessary for our spiritual breakthrough. Imagine a gardener who carefully tends to his garden. From time to time, he must prune branches that bear no fruit or even hinder the growth of other plants. This process is painful for the tree, but necessary for its health and prosperity. Similarly, God removes people from our lives who no longer contribute to our spiritual growth. They may be toxic, have a negative influence, or simply no longer align with our path. The removal of people can happen in various ways. Sometimes it is through obvious conflicts and disagreements that lead to the end of relationships. In other cases, it is a more subtle process where we simply begin to drift apart, losing connection and interest. It is important to recognize these moments and understand that a higher purpose underlies them. Letting go of unnecessary connections opens up new opportunities. When we release those who no longer help us grow, we create space for new, more positive and supportive relationships. This allows us to move forward, unburdened by negativity and doubt. Often, we hold on to people out of fear of loneliness or habit. We fear change and the prospect of being alone. But true faith requires trust in God's plan. He knows what we need for our growth and breakthrough. By letting go of people who do not contribute to our development, we demonstrate our faith and readiness to follow God's guidance. Sometimes the people we let go of are good in themselves, but their presence in our lives no longer serves our spiritual path. 
This does not mean they are bad or that we should stop loving and respecting them. It simply means their role in our lives has changed and we must accept this with gratitude and humility. The process of removing people from our lives requires courage and honesty with ourselves. We must be willing to acknowledge that some relationships have run their course and no longer serve our purpose. This is not a defeat, but a natural part of our spiritual growth. Remember that every person who comes into our lives brings lessons and opportunities for growth. When their role is complete, we must release them with gratitude and continue on our path. This opens the doors for new blessings and opportunities that God has prepared for us. God knows what we need, and sometimes this means freeing ourselves from connections that limit us. By letting go, we open ourselves to a new, better and brighter future. God desires for us to prosper and achieve success in our lives. However, to make this a reality, we must avoid conscious sin and distance ourselves from those who drag us down. Let us discuss how humility and acceptance of God's plans play a crucial role in our success. Imagine a river flowing towards the great ocean. This river encounters numerous obstacles, bends and rapids, but ultimately reaches its destination. Similarly, our lives are filled with trials and challenges that test our faith and resolve. But if we follow God's guidance, humbly accepting His will, we, like the river, reach the ocean of prosperity and success. Humility before God means acknowledging His omniscience and trusting His plans, even when they seem incomprehensible to us. God sees beyond our limited perceptions and knows what is best for us. Often, we seek quick success, relying on our strength and ambitions, but true prosperity comes only through faithfulness and obedience to God. Avoiding conscious sin is a vital aspect of our path to success. Sin, like poison, taints our soul and hinders us from clearly seeing God's plan. When we consciously choose the path of righteousness, we cleanse our hearts and open ourselves to God's blessings. This does not mean we must be flawless, but we should strive for righteousness and repent for our mistakes. Our surroundings also play a significant role in our prosperity. The people around us can either support and inspire us or drag us down and lead us away from God's path. It is crucial to recognize such influences and be ready to let go of those who do not contribute to our spiritual growth. God wants us to be surrounded by faithful friends and mentors who help us move forward. Acceptance of God's plans requires patience and trust. Sometimes it seems our path is too difficult and success is impossible. But it is essential to remember that God's plan for us is always perfect. He sees our potential and knows what trials will help us fully realize it. Faith in God's plan is the key to true success. When we humbly accept His will and follow His ways, we find peace and confidence in our journey. We become like the river that, overcoming all obstacles, reaches its destiny. Trials of faith can be painful, but they are an integral part of our spiritual journey. Each of us faces difficulties that test our faith and resilience. It is crucial to remember that through these trials, we gain strength and wisdom, drawing us closer to God. Imagine gold being refined through fire to become pure. Similarly, our souls go through the fire of trials to be cleansed of anything hindering our spiritual growth. These trials can take various forms. Illness, loss, betrayal or financial hardships. But each one is an opportunity for us to strengthen our faith and learn to trust God even in the darkest times. One of the key aspects that helps us remain faithful to God during tough times is realizing that trials are not eternal. They come and go, but our faith must remain steadfast. When we face difficulties, it is important not to succumb to despair, but to seek support in prayer and reading the Holy Scriptures. Prayer helps us find comfort and direction, while God's Word reminds us of His promises and love. Another essential aspect is humility and acceptance of God's will. We must remember that God knows our needs and cares for us, Sometimes it seems that our prayers go unanswered, but in reality, God is working behind the scenes, preparing us for greater blessings. Humility before His will means trusting and being willing to follow His ways, even when they seem incomprehensible to us. Faith is not just words, it is actions. 
we must demonstrate our faith through our deeds, remaining faithful to God and His commandments. During trials, it is especially important to maintain our spiritual discipline, praying, fasting, helping others, and serving the community. These actions strengthen our faith and help us see God's hand in our lives. It is also crucial to seek support within our spiritual community. Other believers can offer us comfort, wisdom, and support when we go through tough times. They can remind us of God's promises and help us not to give up despite difficulties. Trials of faith are not just obstacles on our path, they are steps toward our spiritual growth. By going through them, we become stronger and closer to God. Do not fear trials, embrace them with faith and humility, and you will see how God works in your life. Trials teach us patience and help us appreciate God's blessings. In difficult times, we often face challenges that test our ability to remain steadfast and wise. It is crucial to understand how to maintain wisdom and not give up, even when everything seems to go wrong. Imagine a ship captain navigating through a storm. The wind and waves threaten to engulf the ship, but the captain remains calm and confident, knowing that calm seas will follow the storm. Similarly, God calls us to be the captains of our own lives, staying patient and wise in the face of difficulties. Patience is not just waiting, it is actively trusting God during trials. The Bible says, be patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. This means that patience requires us to be persistent and faithful, even when it seems our efforts are in vain. Prayer helps us maintain our connection with God and receive strength and wisdom from Him. Wisdom in difficult times means seeing God's plan behind the trials. Often we may not understand why we face certain difficulties, but God sees the whole picture. The book of Proverbs states, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. This means that wisdom begins with recognizing God's supremacy and trusting His ways. When everything goes wrong, it is essential not only to remain patient, but also to learn from our trials. Each trial is an opportunity for growth and self-improvement. In tough times, we become more sensitive to God's guidance and learn to appreciate even the smallest blessings. God often uses trials to show us our weaknesses and help us overcome them. This process can be painful, but it is necessary for our spiritual growth. We must be willing to humbly accept God's lessons and strive for the wisdom that comes with experience and faith. Another important aspect of patience and wisdom is the ability to stay on course despite doubts and fears. Faith in God's plan helps us overcome fears and remain confident in our path. This does not mean we will not experience doubts, but we must learn to overcome them through prayer and trust in God. Trials are not just obstacles on our path, but steps toward our spiritual growth. By going through them with patience and wisdom, we become stronger and closer to God. Let your faith be the anchor that keeps you afloat during the storms of life. In our lives, there are spiritual battles that require exceptional perseverance and strength. Fighting demonic strongholds is a complex and prolonged process that demands deep engagement in fasting and prayer. These spiritual barriers can manifest as negative thoughts, destructive habits, fear and doubts. Let us discuss how to not give up and continue seeking deliverance from these spiritual obstacles. Imagine a fortress built on a rock, seemingly impregnable. Demonic strongholds in our minds and hearts can seem just as powerful and insurmountable. However, through fasting and prayer, we can dismantle these fortresses and free ourselves from their influence. Fasting is not merely abstaining from food. It is a spiritual weapon that helps us focus on God and cleanse our minds and spirits. It gives us the strength and determination to stand against darkness. Prayer is our direct line of communication with God. It strengthens our faith and fills us with God's wisdom and power. Through prayer, we call upon God's assistance in our struggle against spiritual obstacles. When we pray, we are not merely speaking to God, we are invoking His power to join our battle and help us break down the strongholds that hold us back. It is crucial to remember that fighting demonic strongholds is a process that requires time and patience. We may not always see immediate results, and this can lead to frustration. But we must keep our faith and not give up. Every prayer and every day of fasting bring us closer to victory. It is also essential to recognize that we are not alone in this battle. 
God is always by our side, ready to support and guide us. He sees our efforts and provides us with the strength to continue. We must trust him and believe that with his help, we can overcome any obstacles. In addition to fasting and prayer, other spiritual practices, such as reading the Holy Scriptures, meditation, and participating in church services can also help. These practices strengthen our faith and help us stay on the right path. We should not forget about the support from fellow believers. The community can offer us comfort, wisdom, and support in difficult times. Mutual prayer and collective fasting can amplify our efforts and help us achieve the desired result more quickly. Spiritual warfare against demonic strongholds is a journey that requires determination, faith, and patience. Through fasting and prayer, and with the support of God and our community, we can break down any barriers and achieve spiritual freedom. God makes everything work for the good of those who love him and are called according to his purpose. It is important to understand how to remain consistent in our actions to receive God's blessings. Faith and steadfastness in following God's commandments are key aspects on the path to spiritual breakthrough. Imagine an artist creating a masterpiece. Every brushstroke matters and contributes to the final work of art. Similarly, every action and decision we make on our path to God shapes our life and destiny. Consistency in righteousness and adherence to God's commandments are the brushstrokes that create the picture of our spiritual success. One of the main tasks before us is to maintain faith and devotion to God despite trials and difficulties. Romans 8.28 says, And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. This means that even in the toughest moments of our lives, God guides us and uses our trials for our benefit. Consistency in actions manifests in daily adherence to God's principles. This includes not only prayer and reading the scriptures, but also showing love and compassion to others, helping those in need and being honest in our dealings. When we strive to live by God's commandments daily, we become channels of his blessings. It is also important to remember that patience and humility play a significant role on this path. There are moments when it seems that our efforts are in vain and that we do not see the fruits of our labor. In such times, we must remember God's plan and trust Him. God's blessings can come unexpectedly and at the right moment. Persistence in prayer and a constant pursuit of spiritual growth strengthen our connection with God. Prayer helps us stay on the right path and receive God's wisdom and strength. Constant communication with God through prayer is like the breath for our soul, filling us with life and strength. Blessings come to those who do not give up and continue on the path of righteousness. Our efforts and faith are like seeds that will bear fruit over time. God sees our efforts and rewards us in his own time. Let your actions be consistent and aimed at fulfilling God's will. Trust him and you will see how he turns your trials into blessings and leads you to a spiritual breakthrough. God is always with you on your path to breakthrough. Remain faithful, pray and be patient for your breakthrough is near. Continue working on your spiritual growth by following God's guidance and sharing your stories to inspire others.